Hi everyone, it's uh, Richard Winstone here with over50smoney.com. Um, most of you will probably more likely know me from the petition I'm running on change.org against Ofgem and the government on energy bills to try and reduce the uh, calculations of headroom and profit figures as well as get VAT removed from domestic energy um, bills so that we can hopefully turn this energy crisis around a little bit. Um, so this video today is just a quick update on what's happening in the energy market at the moment. It's uh, more targeted towards those of you that have signed the petition, so I'm going to give you some information on what's coming up in the future. Um, and hopefully it's a new format for me providing updates because the written um, articles I've been doing do take a long time and the video should hopefully be a bit quicker and a lot more digestible for everybody. Um, so I want to start by saying thank you to... 343,000 people that have signed this petition. It's an insane number and I really didn't expect this when I first started it back in September last year. Um, it's, it's given me a voice um, to be able to speak to Ofgem with some authority, which is great. It's got me you know, in the door having these monthly meetings with them, or to be honest at the moment, there's sort of two or three a month on different aspects of the price cap. Um, and it's nice to be able to try and make some changes internally with Ofgem and that's all thanks to you guys so thank you for signing the petition um, please do keep sharing it with friends and family um, I'm hoping to ha hand in the petition to 10 Downing Street um, by May I believe it's the middle of May we're aiming for at the moment um, roughly the same time as the next price cap announcement for July uh, so that when there's a bit of pressure on the government to, to change the energy price guarantee, we can also apply some pressure to see if we can get the VAT removed at the same time. Um, so yeah, if we can get to half a million signatures before then, I just think it has a bit more of a punch behind it when we do hand it in. So yeah, please keep uh, sharing and uh, letting people know about this petition. Thank you. Um, so the, the first update I wanted to give was about the Ofgem price cap announcement this week. I'm sure most of you have seen it in the news by now that the price cap is coming down by almost £1,000. And there does seem to be a lot of articles out there trying to explain the confusion as to why our energy bills are still going up in April. Um, so I'll give you a quick overview of that and hopefully it makes sense. Please do feel free to, free to email me, richard at over50smoney.com. If you still have questions, I'm happy to try and answer them. Um, so you've got to realise there are two different protections we have in place. Um, loose term protection there, but still. There's the off-gen price cap, which sets the maximum an energy supplier can charge for your energy bills. That's per unit, and they always give it as an average figure if you're a median use household. So it's just gone from about two, uh, £4,200 to, it's going to go to 3200 from the 1st of April. Um, and then the other protection we have is the energy price guarantee, which is set by the government, which is a limit on how much we actually pay. So there is a difference there. Energy suppliers can charge up to the price cap, but we as customers pay the energy price guarantee. And then the government subsidizes the energy suppliers by covering that gap in the middle. So the energy price guarantee at the moment is £2,500, which means for the last couple of months where the price cap has been 4200 the government's been paying that extra what, £1,700 to energy suppliers for us. We haven't actually been paying that ourselves. So now that Ofgem's reduced the price cap by £1,000, all that means is the government will have less to subsidise. It doesn't actually impact our household bills at the moment because we're still protected by the government's energy price guarantee. That price guarantee is changing from the 1st of April. It's going from £2,500 up to £3,000. So we're all likely to see an increase in our unit costs. And it's also worth mentioning that um, we've, we should all have been receiving the £400 support over the last six months from the government in £67 payments, roughly. Which means really the £2,500 we're paying is actually £2,100. And we're going, to go, we're going to see it go up to £3,000 from the 1st of April. So just be aware there is, under current plans, um, going to be a jump in your energy bills from the 1st of April. We, we're we aware that there's um, a letter out there, I think it was started by Martin Lewis, it's been backed by like 90 charities, uh, calling for the Chancellor to not increase the energy price guarantee. And the reason behind that is because current forecasts expect the price cap to fall down to about 2,200 from July. So if the government can hold off for three more months from increasing the energy price guarantee, um, we get that extra bit of protection for the three months. And then from July onwards, the government won't need the energy price guarantee anyway. 
that's under current predictions. Um, so we're hoping to hear an announcement on that during the budget announcement later this month, but there's no knowing just yet. Um, I hope that was kind of a clear explanation. And if it's not, as I said, feel free to email me and I'll provide that further explanation in written form and hopefully make it a bit clearer for you. Um, and then the only other update I wanted to let you know about, I mentioned it before, is that we are going to hand in a petition to um, the government in May, or at least we're hoping to. We're going through the setup of that now. Um, so if, if possible, please continue to share the petition as far and wide as possible. Um, we, or I am hoping in the next week or two to put out another update to you guys, calling for everyone to tag Martin Lewis in, on Twitter in a post. I'll write out the post like I have done in previous updates. Um, and the purpose of that is that Martin Lewis has a voice that speaks to millions. So if we can get another 7 million people aware of this petition, if we can get Martin Lewis to back it and just retweet it once, then that gives us a lot, uh, a lot better footing to approach the government on. I think it would make it a lot easier to get to that half a million target if we had a public figure as large as Martin Lewis backing it. And I think this is the sort of petition that he would back because it's a solutions-based approach to fixing some problems with the off-gen price cap. So uh, keep an eye out for that update next week. I'll post it hopefully middle of the week um, and you should see it in your inbox. Um, finally, I just want to say another thank you to everybody for supporting this petition. I know I've said it a few times in this video, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit overwhelming. It's quite surprising that there are so many people backing this. Um, I'll continue to try my best to, to make the changes that we're all looking for. I'll keep fighting off Jim on the customer complaint stuff. Thank you to everyone that filled in the survey. Um, I'll be releasing the uh, results of that survey by the end of next week. So it's taken a while to download all the data um, and start analyzing it, but we're producing some, um, some nice, easily digestible pie charts to really show what everybody thinks. It's not looking good for off gen. There seems to be a lot of negative reviews there. Um, but you'll get more on that next week. So I'll speak to you all soon. And again, I'm Richard Winstone. Thank you.